today we're looking at doing some customer churn analysis in Google Sheets. Here we have some data that we pulled in using coefficient add-on. If you don't have it, you can find it by going to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, you can use it to import data from various services such as Salesforce, Tableau, and others. So we have some data in here from Tableau and Salesforce as well. And so what we have is some subscriptions and some are churned and some are active. And what we want to do is to make a quick report showing a breakdown of our revenue based on churned and active status and the market cap. And so we have the customer annual revenue here for their companies. And from our Salesforce data, we have our deal amounts for each transaction. And so we can sum up our total revenue there. And then from here, we have a quick table to break down into our apps. And so we can look up from there to find those results. To help us build these formulas real quick, we're going to use the coefficient add-on. So we're gonna go ahead and launch that. And we'll start with our total revenue. We'll go to GPT Copilot and then to Format Builder. And here we can simply find the sum from Salesforce data where the customer ID is the same. So let's just say find the total sum from column D in Salesforce data sheet where column A is equal to, let's just say, A3. And then we can drag that formula down as we have build. We're going to go ahead and click build. So it's asking us where that source data sheet is. So we'll go ahead and grab this data. I'm going to go ahead and delete this end reference just so we'll search the whole thing. And then we'll click build again. While we have our formula, we can click copy. And then we can go ahead and paste that in here. And then we can simply double click here to drag that down. Now to find the market cap, we have our annual revenue here. And we need to look it up in this table. So let's go ahead and look up the value in S3 in column A on the tables sheet. Find the nearest value and return the value in column C. And I lost this source table as well. So we'll go ahead and add this source table. And click build. Now we can grab this formula, paste it in here, and then we can copy that down as well to get our market caps. Now we can use another coefficient tool to help us build a quick report. We can use this pivot builder to build a pivot table to show this data. So we're going to go ahead and grab this range. Again, drop our end reference. And then we can decide how we want to see this report. So for today, let's just go ahead and group by H, our market cap, then by E, so we can see our active and churn. And then let's do sum of G and average of G. Then we'll click build and insert on a new sheet. So now it's going to show up down here in the bottom. We we'll click on this GPT pivot and we can see our pivot table here now grouped by market cap and by status. We'll do a little bit of clean up here. So it's showing this average as total here. So we're going to go ahead and rename this real quick. And then let's go ahead and just add some currency formatting and get rid of our decimal places. And there we go. And we have a quick report for our customer churn analysis showing our active and churn by our market cap.